Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a spring and summer clothing try on haul for you guys. I have so many cute things to show you between dresses and skirts, jackets, everything like that. I am so excited. Windsor was actually kind enough to sponsor today's video, so all of the clothing, accessories, anything that you're seeing today is from them. I will be sure to have discount codes and all of the links down below, but I do have a lot to show you guys, so let's just jump in. The first two things I picked out from Windsor were potential graduate graduation dresses. They have a really great feature on their website right now that you can search by occasion and graduation is one of them. So if you're a senior like me or in high school or college, I guess, and you're looking for a graduation dress, Windsor has some really great options that are traditional, but they also have some that are a little bit more funky, some fun colors if you're not for the white vibe. Um, but I did pick out two white dresses that I am considering wearing for graduation. So this first one is this really pretty detailed lace dress. As you can see, it's kind of not bodycon-ish, but has a tighter fit. It has a little bit of a deep V here, but not too low that it's inappropriate for graduation or anything like that. And the detail and cutouts in this is so pretty. It has an exposed zipper on the back. It also has adjustable straps in the back, which is great for making sure it fits kind of the way that you want it to. And I just love all of the detailing on this dress. I think the lace looks really nice. Some lace can kind of look iffy sometimes, but I think this looks like a really high quality lace. And I really like how it has this kind of light tan lining sewn into it everywhere but these cutouts right here so that it's appropriate you don't have to worry about wearing anything underneath in terms of like spandex or anything like that i think this is a really great kind of classy elegant look for graduation so this is definitely a contender for me this next dress i kind of picked out on a whim i wasn't really sure if i was going to like it in person but i honestly think it might be my favorite item in this clothing haul and it's this kind of white cream rose printed dress. It is so dainty and cute. These sleeves actually go off the shoulder here and it just kind of has this ruching on the side and a little bit of frill at the bottom, but not too much. And this is the most flattering dress I think I've put on in a while. This isn't a dress that I would have typically looked at and thought graduation, but I think because of how simple and kind of faded the pattern is, it could be really cute. I know my school colors are maroon and gold, so I think that the maroon would tie in really well with the maroon and the flowers here. If I don't end up wearing this for graduation, I think I'm gonna wear it to an upcoming formal that I have, so make sure to follow my Instagram to see if I end up wearing this. Moving on from dresses, I next have five shirt slash bodysuit shirts to show you guys. Guys. This first one was again a little bit out of my comfort zone and it is this white lace kind of corset tie up off the shoulder top. I bought this in mind with spring parties coming up and just wearing it with like cut off denim shorts and stuff like that. I just think it's really fun and flirty. It has that kind of angelic vibe off the shoulders. I don't believe I have anything in my closet that has this kind of tie up trend yet. So I'm really excited to experiment with that. And something that I really like about Windsor is that a lot of their tops in the back have this little clasp. I don't know if you can see it, but I think that that really helps to ensure that everything stays up and stays put. I know it has it in both of the dresses and the majority of the clothing that I'm showing. I'm so excited to style this in the upcoming weeks. I want to mention the next shirt before I forget. It is the one that I'm wearing. It's this kind of half smocked, half, I guess, mesh, sheer, long sleeve crop top. It is so cute. I've already worn this out a couple times and every time I get so many compliments. It's so comfortable. It can be dressed up, dressed down. Like it's not necessarily weird to wear to class if you wear it with jeans and like sneakers, but I've also worn it with heels and a skirt and it's so versatile so comfortable and I feel like it's just very different than anything I would normally wear even though it's still like a black crop top. I definitely don't have anything that's smocked like this and I think that this is such a good way to incorporate the trend that's not too much. I'm not personally a big fan of the cropped t-shirts that are smocked so I feel like this is again a really great way to kind of incorporate the trend but make it your own. Um, I will insert some pictures here along with the try on but I have been getting so much wear out of this shirt. The next three items I have to show are all black bodysuits. Shocking, super on brand for me. This first one is an off the shoulder black bell sleeved bodysuit. And this is also one of my favorites. I've worn this with a skirt that I'm gonna show later in the video. And I think it looks so cute together. I was initially a little bit worried that this would be a little bit transparent, especially in the chest area, but it's actually double lined it looks like. So it's super thick. I've worn it without a bra and I haven't had any issues with flash photography or anything like that. And it feels really well made. Again, the stitching seems really thick. I just think this is such a versatile top and I'm so excited to start wearing it this spring and summer. This next bodysuit is a little bit more funky. It is this silk tie top. I'm not sure if you can see, but it has a pretty big cutout like here and here. This isn't necessarily meant to be a cutout, but it has the 
bodysuit bottom. So it essentially creates a cutout, but you'd have pants that come up that high, if that makes sense. Anywho, um, this again is something I would not normally pick out, but I saw it on the website and I thought it would be so fun. As you guys probably know, I'm moving back to the DC area this summer and I just thought this was such a fun going out top for such like a politically corporate area. I don't know, it just kind of like stirs the pot a little bit because it is like that silky button down, but it's also just ties and not an actual silky button down that you could ever wear to work. Um, so I don't know, I just thought it was kind of fun and flirty. So I'm super excited to wear this this summer and figure out how I want to style this. And then the last bodysuit I have is just your typical long sleeve deep V bodysuit. I think this is such a staple for going out wardrobes. Again, you could wear this with a skirt, you could wear it with jeans. I think stuff like this is super easy to style and kind of never goes out of trend. So it's really great to invest in pieces like this that you know you can wear time and time again. And then the last top related item that I got is this black denim jacket. I do not currently own any denim jackets. I am still on the hunt for the perfect blue denim one. So if you guys have any recommendations let me know but I saw this and just thought that this would be so great to throw on for class especially in these like spring summer transition months where it's still cold in the morning but hot in the afternoon I thought this would be perfect to throw over like a t-shirt and leggings kind of spice it up a little bit but still be super comfortable I got a medium in this and it's definitely oversized I think you could probably get your regular size and it would still fit a little baggy but I wanted mine to be even more baggy than it was kind of intended for. Again, I think jackets and stuff like that are great pieces to invest in because they could be styled and worn so many different ways. So I'm super excited to start wearing this and incorporating this into my daily wardrobe. Sorry if it just got a little bit harder to hear me at the fan in my bedroom turned on, um, but it is so hot in North Carolina today, I like have to keep it on. The next two items I picked up from Windsor were both pairs of shorts. I desperately need more shorts in my wardrobe. So these are just high-rise, cut-off white shorts. They're so comfortable. They're from the brand Oasis. I had a pair of pants from them in my sophomore year haul, and I wear those pants all the freaking time. Like, all of my friends borrow them. They're very well loved. So when I saw that the same brand made these, I knew I had to pick them up. I'm so excited to wear these this summer with a t-shirt tucked in and a cute belt, little slip-on shoes. I think that these are just like the perfect go-to shorts. I think that they'll be super cute at the beach too. And then the next pair of shorts I got are just a kind of linen paper bag style short. I have been on the hunt for a good pair of these and I think that these are them. I think that these are perfect for summer. I prefer my shorts to be a little bit looser. I'm not the biggest fan of my legs. We're working on them. Um, so I think looser fitting shorts like this are really, really great. I love pairing them with crop tops and stuff like that. DC in the summer gets so hot, so I think having this lightweight linen material would be great, and I'm super excited to style these. The next two items I have to share with you guys are both skirts. This first one is a black denim zip-up o-ring kind of mini skirt. The skirt just fits like a glove. It zips up so well. It's stretchy, but it's thick enough to the point where you feel covered. I mentioned this earlier, but this is the skirt that I think looks really good with the off-the-shoulder bell sleeve bodysuit. I think the combination of fabrics looks really, really good together, and it's all black, so it's just like sleek and classy. Um, if you're in college like me, this is also great for day parties and stuff like that. Their clothes are pretty inexpensive, so I love having cheaper going out clothes just in case something happens or like I spill, somebody else spills, you fall in mud, whatever that may be. I think that Windsor has such great clothes for that. The next skirt is a fun one. It is this midi skirt cheetah print, and I don't know where I'm going to wear this. I think I'm just going to have to walk around DC in it just to like stunt essentially. I've wanted to hop on the animal print bandwagon for such a long time but haven't found something that was right for me and when I saw this skirt I just thought it was so cute. I love the length of it. I love that the pattern's a little bit bigger. I'm picturing myself tucking like a loose white t-shirt into this with van slip-ons, like messy ponytail, big sunglasses, walking around DC in the summer with a coffee in hand. Like that is the vibe that I want for myself. So I'm super excited to style this. As you guys can see, it's just such a cool pattern and I think it's really different than anything I own. I don't own a skirt that's this long, this pattern, this anything really. So I'm super excited to step out of my comfort zone with this one. And then the last clothing item I have to share with you guys is a pair of black skinny jeans from that brand Oasis. I think I mentioned that I had a pair essentially very similar to this from my sophomore year haul and I just beat the crap out of those jeans. They've lived a really good life, but it was time for them to retire. I think I stepped in the knee hole too many times to the point where it split, you know? Um, so I saw that they had a very similar pair on their website and I 
love these jeans. They are so good for going out. They just suck everything in. They're high-waisted, they're comfortable, they're stretchy. They somehow fit all of my friends, even though we're all different sizes. The last pair that I got was a five, and I decided to size down to a three this time, and I'm glad that I did. I believe that was the same size that I got in the shorts as well, if you were curious. Um, but I just think these jeans are so great. I'm honestly going to go back and order more. I want to get the white pair of these jeans, I think, as well, just because they're so flattering, so comfortable, stretchy. What more could you need, you know? And then the last two items I have to show you guys are both accessories. This first one is a pair of statement earrings, and I think that these are so cool. Again, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I just thought that they were so fun. They remind me of Simba from The Lion King. I just think... I don't know, especially because I normally wear all black or pretty safe clothing. I feel like earrings are a really great way to step up your game and kind of say like, I'm here, but I'm subtly here. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe these came in a couple other colors as well if you like the style but aren't as big on the mustard train as I am. These are perfect for summer and I'm so excited to wear them. And then the last thing I got was this really dainty choker. It's just a really pretty simple choker. It has like little gemstones across it. I think it's perfect for layering and stuff like that and I know that I'm going to get so much use out of this. That is everything for today's spring and summer try on clothing haul from Windsor. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again, Windsor, for sponsoring today's video. I seriously love everything. The quality is so nice, and I know I'm going to get so much use out of everything in the next upcoming months. If you guys have any questions on sizing, fits, anything like that, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer all of those questions along with linking all of the products and any coupon codes or anything like that I have in the description box. My social media will be in there as well if you want to watch me kind of style these pieces throughout the next couple months. And with all that being said, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.